are you just assuming I'm that just about assuming. it? Okay. Hey, everybody. Stupid welcome reasons. into the Upstate Pulse's <laughs> pre-show. As you can tell, the corrections are already starting. Oh, no. They're already starting. No, that was not a correction. That, that was making a correction. determination. Would you like to be Patrick in, in said the something shot? racist. I'm just saying. I didn't say anything racist. Hold Come up. Back. No, 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 no. no. no we're, we're not no, doing that on here. That's, that's live. It was not racist, by the way. Let it go. I don't know why he did that. I mean, I mean come on. Thank you for, for tuning in to the pre-show. I know some of you are just watched the Gamecocks pull off the miracle win. The kicker finally hit one, which is good. Um... And Clemson is now doing what they should have done all along. They've decided to start playing in the fourth quarter. Anyway, on today's show, we've got all kinds of stuff that we're going to talk about. These, by the way, are weapons of correction. We want to welcome back Angry Zach, and he's got the hammer today. Um, chances are, before this video is over, Chris is getting beat down by everything. Because, Probably. Because, because he's going to correct us and all. And now the one. likes start coming he's in. Gonna, he's going to correct us all. As soon one. as you say that. Uh, all right. <laughs> People love violence. I know. So there there are a, a, couple, a couple stories I want to touch on in the pre-show, including um, Hearthstone. Had, have you guys played Hearthstone? I know I yes. know Patrick has played, have played not, Hearthstone. I, have not, I am familiar with it, but I am not actually it is It is a card game um, that you can get on your phone and a pretty popular uh, card game. Mm -hmm. There's a cookbook out, a Hearthstone cookbook. And my question to you guys, would you get a cookbook that's along the lines, I can tell you there's also a World of Warcraft cookbook. Okay. I'd probably get the Hearthstone now, one. And there's a Game of Thrones cookbook. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so, I mean, I, would you guys? <laughs> I would not, I, I like cookbooks, and I would not be opposed to getting a cookbook that's based on some sort of fantasy element, as long as the recipes don't call for Murloc or something. All right, so the... the um, oh, you can't find Murloc? No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, you can order from Japan or something. All right, so the first the first recipe that they have on there is Leroy Jenkins. I'm sorry, Leroy Jenkins. That hurt. Chicken cheese balls. So would you make some Leroy Jenkins chicken cheese balls? And here's, here's the premise of the cookbook is that while you're gaming on a gaming binge, you need snacks. I mean, so if your chicken balls are the first yes. option. So you need, well, you need something that's quick that you can just grab one, throw it in. And Leroy it Jenkins was happy that he had chicken. Remember? I mean, he. Well, I, I get at least you're right. Element, you are right. At least I have chicken. Was well, why, his response? But why chicken balls? Why not chicken? I tacos? don't know. See, that's kind of what I'm. Because I wonder why not fried chicken? Because yeah. just a because chicken, a chicken ball about this big around. We're talking about the food, by the way. You can grab. You can. You can. Or what about roast? You can chicken. pop it in there while you're playing a game. That's the whole point. But you would think. If it's in Leroy's honor, you want something that's going to occupy him a little while so that maybe he'll sit there for the whole meeting before, he, chicken. <laughs> okay, before so he runs in. That's always a possibility. Let's just throw that story on, on the floor. All right, another story. There is, and I want to thank show contributor Cameron, which is now his title, show contributor, for sending this to me. There is an ultimate hotel for gamers in Taiwan. It's every geek's dream. It's called iHotel. And uh, of course it is. each room costs around $100 a night, but the hotel also does hourly rates if you're just looking to have a gaming session. Uh oh. And they have complete... It could be that kind of... I mean, listen, any hotel can be that kind of hotel, but this is... A gaming this, session. Well, you can have a have gaming session. No, the guy he's talking about, followed by another... If you want to see it, check it on Facebook. if you want to see it, go to our Facebook page, which is... The Upstate Pulse. Chris doesn't go there, but no. we go there and we contribute mightily. Go there and check it out. Check out the hotel room. We're reading. Comics. Yes, we are a bunch of grown men talking about chicken balls. Chicken yeah. balls. And yes, don't you wish you were us? And yes, this is why the world is ending. You know, but so what? Um, all right. So another thing. Also check out our Facebook page for a video. We got a love for chicken balls. Uh, that's him. A video that's. Joker versus Pennywise. Who do you guys think would win? Joker. Joker. In an actual fight between Joker and Pennywise? Both of you guys are crazy. Pennywise would win, no. hands down. I was going to say Pennywise because he's a supernatural being. And he's not really a clown. Pennywise yeah. is the eater of worlds. It's not Bray Wyatt. Bray it's Wyatt. Pennywise. No. He took that. He stole that like he steals everything. Pennywise is the eater of worlds. The only time it's ever been written probably is by Stephen King, so he stole it from Stephen King. All right. So, something else. By the way, we're going to be talking to someone who's putting a real-life haunt together um, as a guest in the second segment of the show. The show's on 7 to 9 p.m., um, and uh, he's actually interviewing actors today, so we're going to ask some questions about how you go through that process and things like that. And we have, we have our very own expert 
uh, right here, <laughs> Kyle Wren. Miami Ghost Miami. star. Yes, Chris that's Evans. right. IMDb credited actor Chris Evans. Um, what a show. So we're going to have ask him about that. What else we got going on for the show? Well, you don't know. I don't know. <laughs> we're going to talk about right now. You shouldn't be able to see this. You know why? Because the world was supposed to end today. So we're going to talk about that. We also are going to uh, review Kingsman: The Golden Circle. Patrick and I saw it. I don't think Zach saw it. I have not. Okay, seen so so we'll give you a review of that. Nerd Roundtable. A bunch of other things. You're a deaf. Couple uh, big names, and you're a deaf. But you know, we usually do taste tests on this here show, and yes. I, I didn't tell them. I stopped off at, at, at the local Spinks to get something to drink, okay. and, I, and I spotted something, and by the way, if you're just tuning in, we're holding these, waiting for someone to correct something. Is it a drink, and if it is, why is it in your pocket? It is not a drink. Okay, good. It is. Is it chocolate? It is. Okay. Yes. I know it's backwards on the screen. Is it candy corn? It's Hershey's candy corn. I already don't like it. Doesn't that sound gross? That's just sounds that been disgusting. In your I, know. I just put it in my pocket. It was in the bag. I put it in okay. my pocket when I walked over here because I wanted to surprise you guys because that's what I did. Well, no, I was just First of all, sure I was worried nothing. about the consistency of the chocolate. Yes, I, was. Uh, I, I didn't spike it or anything. Well, no, I wasn't that. worried about that. I was wondering if it was melty. No. Uh, I know. It already smells like. Yeah. Listen, there's no way that this is as bad as it's the worst. Already... What is the worst thing we've ever taste tested on this the show? The milkshake. The milkshake. The milkshake. Fruit Loops milkshake. Yeah, the Fruit Loops milkshake. It was gross. It's tasting that thing forever. All right, so Bad. you know how this is yep, gonna... done. So there, there you go. There you go. There you go. Now they have used white chocolate, which seems like a good idea, except the white chocolate is the worst kind of chocolate that you can get. I'm going to spew. I'm going to hurl. It smells. It smells like frosting. It smells like cake frosting. It's not good. So just man. so you, just so you know, what we're in for here, Zach. Tastes like candy corn. I don't like it. It's not, I mean, if you like candy corn, you probably like it. I don't hate it. It also tastes like cake frosting. Yeah, it kind of does. And not in a good way. Since someone just talked about grown man doing that, you probably don't want to see a grown man do this. Ah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick, Patrick doesn't like that when people go, ah. Hey, Patrick, what? <laughs> I've been gone a while. Is flaccid still a thing? Flaccid is still a thing. <laughs> Oh, we have a new one. We have a, did you hear we have a new word? I haven't heard. Seepage. seepage. <laughs> he does not like seepage either. He drop, what did he drop? I <laughs> dropped the sword. Do not drop Michonne's... Um, I think he fainted. Thing. He might have fainted. <clears throat> By the way, it didn't taste like candy corn. No, it mostly tastes like white chocolate and or cake frosting. In the beginning, yeah, it, it got a, a hint of candy corn, but yeah, it tastes I, more I like I think candy what they frosting. did, they decided to put the candy corn smell on it. I don't yeah. know. I don't know how you bottle that. Not or just get plain candy corn. I mean, probably, that's don't. If that's what don't. you want, there's probably cologne somewhere that smells like I, candy corn, and someone might be attracted to it. I don't know. I I actually like candy corn. I mean, some, not Man. a whole lot. I like chocolate a lot better, which is why I hate white chocolate. But not worth it. Not worth it. Um, I would like to thank Michael Blackwell for Mo putting moist <laughs> seepage on there. Moist seepage. Right, moist seepage. Is moist seepage is probably the worst kind of seepage. Now I'm curious. The, uh, these the way that these words and you can see the effect that it's having on Patrick right now. <laughs> if this you, is live, okay? If you, if you do, we know we we have experienced and you have experienced yes, the yes. way that these words affect Patrick when he hears them. But I'm wondering, would you have the same reaction to it if you saw it written? Like that is. Yeah, like right, right there. Can you read the word? Yeah, no, read I, word. I read it. Yeah, okay. I read it, and I immediately went over okay. here. Oh, uh, okay. By the way, um, I think that Patrick is about to do Harry Carey with the Michonne <laughs> sword. I don't think it's possible with the foam sword, but I think he might do it if someone says, right, flash it again. I mean, you know, <laughs> flash it, Patrick. You're right. No. There he is right there. Flash it, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There you go. Well done. Ladies and gentlemen, Patrick has left the building. All right. Hopefully not because I don't want to produce. All right. So, show starts in five minutes. Make sure you tune in, call in, text in. We love our texters, 71307. Phone lines, 800-347-1063. Take us along with you when you're on your way out on this beautiful Saturday evening. We are the Upstate Pulse. I'm Lonzo. That's Chris. That is Zach. Patrick is uh, currently going up. All right.